You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, black and white sports supporters, let's talk about the Dirty Birds. That's right, the Atlanta Falcons. Because some information has emerged about the future of their current head coach. Now, I don't know if there's a massive fire burning from the Atlanta Falcons fan base to get rid of Arthur Smith, but let's be real. It seems like since he's took over, it's been sort of more of the same. And by more of the same, I mean Dan Quinn. And what I always tell people is I keep hearing and hearing and hearing and saw it last year because Dan Quinn was in serious contention for that Broncos job. Is are we really clamoring to rehire Dan Quinn that quick? I know his defense has been good in Dallas. Very damn good. But Atlanta Falcons fans could not get rid of him fast enough. He turned into a disaster in Atlanta. And Atlanta has turned into one of these franchises that, for whatever reason, just seems like a lot of meh, like mid You don't know what you've got in Desmond Ritter, even though when I really look at things and break it down, and we'll take a look in a second because Arthur Smith is supposed to be this offensive guru, and is there any part of you that gets Kyle Shanahan or Sean McVay vibes from this guy, Andy Reid vibes? Because I don't get them. I don't get them from Arthur Smith. I don't. And right now, you got a team. That's outside of the playoffs. Again, you got a team that's on the bubble again at six and seven. I mean, this is Arthur Smith, seven and ten, seven and ten, and six and seven. Twenty and twenty-seven. But it looks like Arthur Blank, barring some kind of a meltdown from the team, they're gonna keep Arthur Smith in that job. One much criticized NFC coach appears, does not appear, appears, does not appear, come on, Larry Brown Sports, does not appear to be on the hot seat after all, according to a report. Atlanta Falcons coach Arthur Smith's job is believed to be safe. According to Jeremy Fowler of ESPN, Fowler adds that it would be essentially uh, essentially require a late-season collapse for Smith to be at risk of losing his job. Smith is in his third season with the Falcons, and the team's lack of progress this year has been frustrating to some. He has also come under criticism for his for over his use of his key offensive skill players, particularly standout rookie running back B. John Robinson. Boy, he is a badass. After a pair of 7 and 10 seasons, Smith has them at 6 and 7. And they are in the thick of the very poor NFC South. Ultimately, that may all be enough to ensure he gets another season. So, let's let's just take a look. This is PFF. This is a PFF quarterback grading system. We look at it a lot on this channel. And you got Desmond Ritter, and you're seeing it. This is all the qualifying quarterbacks in the NFL, and Desmond Ritter is setting at 35 right now. As the 35th ranked quarterback, Zach Wilson is one, two, three, four, four places above Desmond Ritter. Zach Wilson, Tommy DeVito, Daniel Jones. I mean, my God. That gives you an idea. Joshua Dobbs is boat racing Desmond Ritter by 10 spots right now for the season. And and I was looking at this, and I'm like, you still don't know what you've got? I mean, he's got nine touchdowns, nine picks. Guys, when you start digging in it, you're like, well, okay, he's got five rushing touchdowns. He's got 10 fumbles. This year, 10. So you've got 13 total touchdowns. And you've got 19 turnovers with an 8-7 and record. I mean, I've got to be real. I'm I'm sorry, but, you know, the Falcons might be in in the mood to draft themselves a quarterback in the offseason. 
And do you want Arthur Smith to be the guy that's that's really involved in making that decision? I mean, I guess he could win out. I guess they could make the playoffs, and I guess everybody will be happy. But this team is nowhere close to getting to a Super Bowl. If they sneak into the playoffs right now, they're going to get boat raced by the Eagles or the Cowboys or the Niners. We know how this is going to go. It's going to get ugly. And then they're going to come out. There's going to be some hope if they do make it for next season, yada, yada, yada. And it's just not going to happen. You don't have an elite franchise quarterback there. Now, somebody like Kirk Cousins could come in with that roster. Kirk Cousins might go into the Atlanta and mess around and win 12 games. I mean, that, that offensive side of the ball, that offensive roster is great. It's really good. And there are weapons. This isn't like the Patriots or the Panthers where there is nothing to work with. The cupboard is not bare with the Falcons. But I, I would sure love to see something better than than, than uh, Arthur Smith in his 20 and 27. When they made this hire and when he was sort of like one of the guys that was is supposed to be exciting and have everybody all worked up, I thought to myself, what is everybody else seeing that I'm not? I mean, he had Derrick Henry. You know, he had A.J. Brown. And we've seen exactly how big of a player that dude's turned out to be. All you got to look at is the fact that Ryan Tannehill has f- fallen off a cliff and A.J. Brown is absolutely slaying it with the Eagles. I mean, you know, Arthur Smith seems like a solid offensive coordinator. But this guy, nothing about him screams head coach. You know, if I'm Arthur Blank, I'm sitting back and I'm hearing Jim Harbaugh rumors out there. And I'm thinking, man, with this team, with these weapons... You know, could Harbaugh get us to the Super Bowl? I mean, you know, there's rumors out there about Mike Tomlin right now. And the fact that he may end up wanting out or they may let him go just off the sheer fact that he's been there forever and he needs a change of scenery just kind of like Andy Reid did. So if you're the Falcons, if you're a Falcons fan today, are you sitting there, are you just thrilled with what you got? Are you happy with what you got that this is you went from Dan Quinn to, you know, Dan Quinn on the other side of the ball? You're literally you've got the Spider-Man meme as you're, you know, showing off your coach right now. Dan Quinn pointing at Arthur Smith. Me, me. Yeah. Same kind of dude. Uh, I, this would be different if I would it, look. This is the third season. All right? You, you think coaching doesn't matter? Coaching matters a shit ton. Don't believe me? Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos, they looked like a crashing jet plane with flames coming out. With flames coming out for the, under Nathaniel Hackett last year who didn't even make it a full season, and the plane was crashing. Sean Payton comes up, shows up. I mean, that team completely turned around. Russell Wilson is excelling. That's the thing. Do you have the right guy? Even if Desmond Ritter is the guy, is this the guy that make him the right guy? Russell Wilson is hes flirting around with, like, top eight quarterback again. And the Broncos, of all those teams that are in the AFC mix, I mean, if the Broncos make the playoffs, nobody wants to play them. Sean Payton, a real coach, came in there and made a major difference. Is there anything that screams Sean Payton to uh, to, to Falcons fans at all? Anybody like that? And I'm just using him as an example, but look how much coaching matters. And this guy's a lot of meh. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if I'm if I'm a Falcons fan, I'm like, really? 
we can't find the next truly innovative guy out there at offense? Really? We've got all these weapons? And we, we have trouble scoring some weeks. That doesn't seem right, does it? I don't know. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.